What's up, Bike Rumor fans? We wanted to show you a lot of the new helmets. There's a ton of really kind of cool, super integrated stuff. So we're gonna actually start with one of the most simple ones, which is the Lim Motivair. This one's pretty cool. It's a new one that'll start shipping in maybe October. And what's different about this is it uses a carbon exoskeleton. And so the carbon fiber shell on this kind of really wraps all the way around the whole top edges. You can see, you know, there's like a bunch of colors that'll come in. So you get to kind of take your pick of some stuff. I think the black one looks the sickest with the carbon. But what this does is it lets them create a 220 gram helmet. So very light, but also super strong and theoretically better in an impact because it has that hard outer shell to hold it together. They can use a softer EPS film on the inside. So it has a little bit better impact protection. The other new one from them is called The Current, and this one's gonna be a little bit longer coming out. It's more of a, like a commuter style helmet. So you have this magnetic lens here that pops off. You can flip it up and pop it into that same channel, or it comes uh, with a lid too. And so it's, it's kind of hard for me to do one hand, but this um, visor is magnetic as well. And so that'll pop in and out and uh, yeah, comes on and off. The other cool thing about this one is in the back, it'll have an integrated tail light, and that's magnetic as well, so you can pull it out. If, you, if you're riding along, you can kind of reach back, pull it off, turn it on, make sure it's blinking the way you want, pop it back in, and you're good to go. So let's go take a look at some others that have a lot more electronics integrated into them than that. All right, our next stop is at Cena, and so Cena is known for making connection headset things for motorcycles, and they've gotten into the bike space, and they've got a few different options here. So if you take a look at these, you're gonna see like some controls at the back here. And what these are, these are like your volume on off and function, you've got the recharging port back there for the helmets, but what's interesting is if you flip it upside down, you can see You've got the speakers on both sides up above, and they do have a different version with um, some speakers, flip this guy over, Ooh. that you can build into the straps as well. And so those kind of keep the speakers out of your ear. And then up here at the front on both versions is the microphone. And the way it works is you can communicate via Bluetooth with your friends, and so it has like a really long distance so you know if you're in a pack you can have a friend at the front of the pack a friend at the rear and you say hey buddy slow it down a little um, or if you're gonna have a big group and you want everybody communicating on the one and not have to worry about like trying to sync up Bluetooth to Bluetooth and all this they have another version here it's a different communication protocol and it's used through this little um, kind of converter so you would sync your helmet via Bluetooth to this and then this would send out the signal to like everybody else's thing and you could have like you know 40 people or something all group chatting on your ride, which would probably be really distracting and crazy. The other cool thing they've got is a helmet with a built-in camera. And so these guys here have a 4K camera built into the shell itself, and it's fully integrated. This does not come out, but it's rechargeable. You got your micro SD there, and same kind of charging port and controls back there for it. And so that's what's new from Cena. Let's go take a look at some more. Next up is Met, and this is their Trenta 3K. So this actually launched last year. There is something new about this, but the Trenta 3K has the full carbon like inner skeleton, and it ends up you end up with a helmet like this, and it is this similar concept to what we saw in them. You know, this one's been around a little longer, but softer EPS shell in, or foam inside, and that lets them because it's a lower density because the carbon holds everything together in an impact. Now they have a MIPS version that does use a little bit uh, thicker or higher density EPS, so it's not gonna be a soft impact, but you get the MIPS protection. The other cool new thing they have is the All Road, and this one actually lives a second life as a helmet called the Vinci, which does get MIPS, and does not get the light that you see here, or the visor. So for 75 euro, you get this nice little helmet with a, a visor that just comes right off. You know, it, it does clip in, it's sort of secure, but, um, no clips, no you know like snaps that make it hard to do. And then you get the integrated tail light on the dial. See lots of colors and stuff like that. So it kind of makes it a nice little uh, gravel helmet or a commuter and just pop the visor off and you got a proper road helmet. Okay, so if there's one helmet that packs in more than anything else, it is the Brico Cerebellum. And this thing is kind of crazy. There is so much going on in this helmet that it does drive it up to about a 410 gram weight, but it's packing two HD cameras a moisture sensor thing that'll tell you if you're getting dehydrated and crash alerts and a whole lot more. So let's look at each of these little things in, in detail. So you have a front HD camera, 
and a rear camera along with a sensor and so it's also that's where the charging port and the power button are so here's what's crazy is the sensor is going to let you know if something's coming up behind you whether you have the camera on or not and what's really wild is that you can stream the video of what's coming up behind you to your smartphone and the helmet comes with a smartphone mount for your handlebar and if you want to watch it, great. You can also beam that to everybody else's smartphone who's riding in the pack with you so that everybody can see what's coming up behind you. And if you don't want to watch what it is, it'll just turn on an alert that can either be an audible alert or just flash a warning on your smartphone just to let you know that a car is coming up behind you. So those cameras also record what's going on, but then it also saves the last two minutes and the two minutes after the impact and beams that up to the cloud so that, that storage is safe and secure and be able to use after the fact. So you access that through the app. So the rear view camera has quite a wide angle and can see what's coming up behind you. There's also a little blinky light right underneath it that is, is kind of senses when something's coming up and the closer something gets behind you, the more it blinks and the brighter it gets. So the crash alert goes out as an SMS to you know friends, family, whoever you set up, and it actually will show a geotag location of where you are using your smartphone's GPS. So the Brico Cerebellum will have full-on CE and CPSC certification for both European and U.S. audiences. It'll come out early next year and probably retail for just under 500 bucks, 500 euro. They're still finalizing a few of the little electronics bits, but what's cool is that all of that video that's recording the whole time, you can just save it and then plug it in later and download full HD footage of what happened in front of you and behind you for the whole ride.